You see Sturm. And if your nose don't fart, then you ain't sick. <laughs> what? I don't know. I made that up. I think that's going to be my new catchphrase. My that's going to be it, huh? <laughs> hey, it's Cameron. If your nose don't fart, you ain't sick. Just the word fart is pretty funny. <laughs> like I was watching Ned's Declassified with Ty the other morning. It's a good show, really. I don't mind it. I mean, for a kid show, it's okay. Uh, it reminds me a lot of junior high. But not so much. Yeah. Of course, it's exaggerated. But Cookie decided that he he was so smart that wanted him to skip a grade. Mm-hmm. The thought of that just paralyzed him with fear of going right to high school. So he decided he was just going to flunk all his classes. So for every test answer and any time anybody called on him, all he said is farts, farts, <laughs> farts, farts. So he had a whole page of essays of nothing that but fart. Farts. Did he pass? Fart. No, he failed, of course. Oh. Um, See, yeah. the, the ironic thing would have been. Yes. And I, for some reason, I just laughed. Like, I just thought that was funny when he was flipping over his page of essays and it was just farts, farts. I don't know. Yeah, I think more cartoons for kids should incorporate farting. I think that's funny. It's always funny, right? <clears throat> yeah. Farting and drug use. It should be. <laughs> like SpongeBob getting high. Isn't he already. Him and Patrick got to be dropping acid or something because... I think, I think it's a direct result ah. of water pollution. Oh. It's our fault. That's a valid point. Yeah. How come no one's ever done a skit on that? I mean, sometimes they joke about it on SpongeBob and like random pieces of like garbage will fall into... What's, yeah, but what's it's the, like what's one piece name? of garbage and then it's like it's the whole focus of the whole show. Right. What is the town's... Bikini Bottom. Bikini Bottom. God, yeah. it's been so long. Thank God since I've had to watch SpongeBob. I watch it for fun. I watched it when the kids were young because it was a good alternative to a lot of the Dora and crap that was on there. We did. And we so don't need okay. this Dora crap. It's oh. America. <laughs> Speak English. I just don't like her big head. And she's always like, will you say um, <laughs> map with me? Say map. And then the no. kids and then the kids will look at you. I'm like, quit <clears throat> eliciting responses. Just let my kids space out and watch you because that's what I've put them in front of the TV to do. When Ashley was like two. Yeah. And there's the, uh, what was your favorite part of the show? Right. She would stand there and she'd be like, I like the part where. <laughs> I know. <And> I'm like, <laughs> You're teaching my child to talk to the TV. Yeah. So then I would do the same. Right. I, like I the would part, answer too. Yeah. When it went to commercial and you shut up. America. <laughs> Speak American. Oh. How come there isn't Susie from down south, the explorer? I don't know why. How come we just have Spanish language shows? You notice nothing ever crisscrosses over. We should all be learning Chinese. Or Southern draw. <laughs> Some Boy, isn't it funny how they do have to subtitle a lot of those reality shows like Duck Dynasty sometimes? Yeah. They have to put a... a you know, a caption underneath about what Sai's saying because he is just all in good. <laughs> Did you ever see that? <laughs> what was it, a Saturday Night Live episode? I don't know. And it was like, I think Will Ferrell was playing like the part of a terrorist. And he was speaking English, but just with like an accent. And they put <laughs> subtitles underneath him. And he's like, wait, what is this? You can't understand me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you subtitle me? <laughs> and he was so offended by it. It was hilarious. I don't think I saw that one. Oh, my That's God. That's the only Will Ferrell skit I hadn't seen. I laughed hard. I miss him on SNL. SNL, well, I guess, I'm not going to say they're not funny this year. How about they have a show? How about they have more than two rotating shows? They did like three, two new shows, repeats. One new show, repeats. Yeah. It's already December, dudes. Put in more than two actual shows. Yeah. Don't work too hard. The loss of Jeez. Andy Samberg really hurt the show. And Kristen Wiig. And um, well, I guess Sadeka stayed on and he's okay, but he's not it. I don't know. He's just not. I don't know. He's a rock. Like, he's a foundation. You know you're always going to be able to use him for a skit, but he's not funny funny. Yeah. Same thing with Keenan. I guess Keenan's going to be leaving. He's got a new show coming out. Really? Yeah. Somebody tapped him for his own show. Which I don't quite get. I don't think he's <coughs> super funny on SNL to begin with. But No, he's just the token. <laughs> <laughs> no, they also have Jay Farrell, who's really funny. So what? Jay Farrell's Keenan funny. Keenan is the token. 
Whenever they need a black guy on the show, they turn to Keenan. They don't turn to Jay. They have more now. Well, yeah, because Keenan's leaving. Well, in the two shows. In the two shows that they've actually done this year. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know. So it's not that SNL's funny. How about you just have a couple shows? I'm tired of reruns already. It's not. It's just the end of November. Yeah. Sick of it. Work harder. Make I'm, me happy. I missed Gilly. Oh, see, I never liked Gilly. Loved Gilly. I was not a Gilly fan. Chris, I, I love Kristen Wiig. I have Every a now crush and then, on her. I know you did. Yeah. Every now and then, I, I do. I, get, I still do. I get callbacks to the turgid lady. <laughs> like the other day, honest to God, where was I checking out? And I swear to God, the lady that che- I was at Walmart, and I'm uh, I she scanned something through. I think it was at Walmart. I don't go that many places. Anyway, she goes, "Where did you get this?" I'm like, "Oh my God, are you serious?" <laughs> and I tried not to laugh. I said. It was on whatever shelf it is. She goes, oh, my God, I'm going to pick up one of these. And she wasn't old. Like, she wasn't an old lady. She was maybe 25. And she was wearing glasses? She was a young girl. Yeah, I think she was. Yes, I know who you're talking about. And she about. goes, where did you get this? And I'm like, oh, my God, target lady. And she goes, I said back there, she goes, I got to go get me one of these. My niece is looking for something like this. Yeah. I'm like, you're like 25 or 30. Yeah. Like, you're not even that old. And then, and then it was scanning. And I... And then I, oh, I was buying stuff for the radio station. So I scanned my card through and she goes, you're approved. Yes, I know exactly who I'm you're like, talking are about. Are you serious? I am like in deja vu. I'm looking around like, is anybody else not going to get called back here? Is there a camera? Because <laughs> she even did her fist up in the air like the target lady did. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God. I said, well, that's a good thing. That's yeah. a good thing, I guess. And I'm looking around like, is nobody else? Seeing this, she's the without the bull haircut. Dude, I got to tell you what she did to me. Okay. So this is funny. I'm there shopping. Okay. And she starts commenting on every damn thing yes! that I'm buying, right? Yes. Then she starts telling me, well, my boyfriend's a really good cook. And we start talking about her boyfriend. <laughs> and this and that. And boyfriend this, boyfriend that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to go see my boyfriend. I'm like, oh. She goes, yeah, my boyfriend and I met here, actually. So really, our first date was at Walmart because I was leaving work. <laughs> she gets into this whole thing. And he asked me, um, or he asked me out on a date in the parking lot. Yes. And then asked if I could come look at electronics with him. So after my shift, I was at Walmart for another three hours with my boyfriend. Oh. And then, like, I don't know, I was buying lasagna stuff or something. She's like, my boyfriend says he makes a great lasagna. <laughs> he made one He made one the other day. And I'm like, oh, yeah, how'd it turn out? <laughs> well, he hasn't actually cooked for me yet because we generally hang out at my place more often. And I don't have that big of a kitchen. I'm like, what? So uh-huh. then I'm like, you guys have been dating for, like, a day. <laughs> I mean, the way that she was talking, like... Yeah, my boyfriend likes this. My ba- everything was my boyfriend. You think boyfriend, it's been like boyfriend. six months, a you year? You think they were damn near engaged? Yeah. And she's they like, they started dating last week. This just happened because she doesn't know jack shiz about him. <laughs> you know, because then I said, I'm like, all right, well, I'll play this game. So what's he sure, like? Let's have blah, a conversation. Blah, blah, blah. What's about he this? doing? Well, he's in between jobs right now, and I'm like, this guy just sounds like a freaking winner. You pick the best guy ever. He oh can cook, but he won't cook for you. He doesn't have his own place. <laughs> Your kitchen's too small, and he's in between jobs, but he's a Mr. Fix-It, and he can do it all. <laughs> Don't wreck the target lady's dreams. I hope she's listening. Derek Mitchell might be listening over at Sam's Company. He's going to be like, who is who is that gal they're talking about at Walmart? Yeah, right? <laughs> but I had a wonderful conversation. Usually, here's, here's how my visits go to any place in town. Yeah. Did you find everything? Yep. <clears throat> scan. 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 Try this sometime. That's uh, twenty-two ninety-four. When they're not engaged like that, that's it. And they say, Did you "Find everything." Say no, but don't say anything else, and see what they do. <laughs> <laughs> because they don't. 
They never say, oh. Yeah. Because they don't want you to, like, after you got all your stuff. They really thing, don't want to have to find anything for right? you. Right? Like, what are you going to do? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, it's in aisle three. I'll be right back. Oh, that's, yeah, because they don't want you taken off to go get it. Let's play this It's going to hold them up. Let's play this game. Okay, everybody, everybody listening today, do it. Do this. And just make up something odd. Even if you did find everything, just tell them, no, I didn't. No, I'm looking for powdered wasabi. <laughs> Is a great item <laughs> because they're not going to have. Chances are they're not going to have any idea what the hell you're talking yeah, about anyway. Like, I just I looked all over. I couldn't find it. No, sriracha. You got to do something like that. Yeah, they don't even have that do because they? no, because they might have heard of wasabi. <clears throat> you ask them for sriracha, they're not going to have any idea. It's like for those of you who don't know what it is, it's like a hot Chinese chili paste. I can't paste. stand stuff. <gasps> I love it. I can't. Stand oh my god, it. you mix it with some mayo. Delicious sauce. I, I just don't like it. Oh my god. Everybody loves sriracha. Yes. I was raised on the damn stuff and I can't stand it. What? Yeah. Oh my god. I like Tabasco sauce. I like Tabasco too. Yes. We tend to heat it up with everything. But yeah, so everybody go in and ask when they say no if you they say, Did you find everything? No. And see if they ask you what it is you were looking for. Yeah, if they even get that far. We'd like to take a poll. On how many? Uh, on if they even follow up with you on that? Yeah, yeah. Well, like one day I remember when I was in grocery shopping the other day. She said, "Did you find everything?" I said, "No, you guys were out of something." And she sort of looked at me, kept scanning. Yeah. <laughs> but then she gave me the total and she gave me a rain check. There was no other discussion about it. She just gave me a rain check on this thing that I was looking for, the sale item I was looking for. Oh, oh it was cocoa because it was the free item of the week. Um, if it tells you where I went shopping. It was cocoa, so it was the free item. And so I'm like, oh, you guys brought a cocoa. Just kept scanning. I'm like, super. <laughs> and like, now I know I never answer that question. And then at the end, she's like, she's like, that'll be 89.62. Handed me a rain check. I'm like, oh, for the cocoa. Thanks. That's nice. Yeah. So she did pay attention. Yeah. But it's. It's tough. Well, and even just to find somebody to wait on, you know, I guess I'm just happy with that use most of the time. Yeah, customer service. Standards have dipped very low. As long as there's a body there. Yeah. Have you ever checked yourself out and asked yourself if you found everything? No. In the self-check line? I do that all the time. Great idea. I do that. I was standing there. I'm like, ma'am, did you find everything today? I'm like, no, I had a hard time finding this. Oh, okay. Then grab the microphone and be like, Price check. <laughs> <laughs> God, that would have be funny because they always have a helper. They do. Right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be like, excuse me. I just asked myself if I found everything all right. And I didn't. And I didn't. <laughs> so I don't know what the procedure is. I couldn't is. find the sriracha. I didn't go through training here at Walmart. <laughs> So I don't know what the procedure is on how to handle this question. Could you help me? God, that'd be funny. Yeah. Oh. Let's do it. I realized I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I can't scan myself in because I can't find everything. And I don't have anyone to answer my question. You know the self-checkout at like a grocery store as opposed to Walmart? Yeah. Walmart's strict. Oh, Yeah. Well, they, because you can buy so much more weird stuff. Do you know what I mean at Walmart? I bought some mints. Yes. And I bet, scanned them and I put them in the bag. The whole thing freaking locked up. You didn't bag that item. Oh, I know. You didn't bag that. And then I had to get some chick to come over. Why don't you just hit, I don't want to bag this item? Well, it was too late because I had tried to bag the item. I know. and that, But then if you don't, if you, if you move it out of the, it's a fine line. Did I move it out of there too quickly? Did it? It didn't feel it drop in there, but it, my bag is full. Whew, what do I do with this? Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're, their machine's really tight and strict, and I hate it. Yeah. I just don't like the fact that if you have anything that needs to be weighed, you know, that you would have to type in a number on, you can't self-check. Yeah. And that almost every time I go to the store, don't ask me why, but I'm always buying something that is a special item or that needs the like printer ink the other day when I went, tried to go through the self-check print ring had to be taken out so they had to come over and because i couldn't scan it it was in the safety protected whatever it is and then they had to undo it and, and then it's just a pain in the ass yeah 
Oh, right. you want to know latest creepy story before you get out of here? Yes. Latest creepy story over it. It's funny when I was in Action Jackson the other day. <clears throat> yeah. Jackson remembered we were talking about how the weird guys sort of drove real slowly as I was leaving his comic book store. Here's another creepy story. As I'm self-checking in Walmart, there's a guy. There's three or four self-checks open right around me. He stands right behind me waiting for mine. That's awesome. And it was like, once again, I'm looking around with cameras like, is this a joke? Like, the dude is breathing down my neck. And even the gal that was sort of, like, monitoring the self-check was sort of looking at him. She goes, sir, this one's open. He goes, I'm fine. Wow. Sir, so then finally she says to him, there are weird, weird people shopping around here now. Not just Walmart, everywhere. Everywhere mm-hmm. scares me to go as a female. But um, she says to him, no, sir, why don't you use this one over here? <laughs> so he did. But I was, like, creeped out because he was standing, I don't know, like, but just hovering like five feet away as I'm checking, and there's checkouts open. That's bizarre. Yeah. Yucky. Was he hot? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're right. He was gorgeous. See, I know these things. Yeah. I'm predicting. <laughs> so there you go, my creepy guy story of the week. I need some creepy stories. I think I'm going to have one every Friday. It looks like it's going to be another good one. I'm going to go out and hunt some. Okay. Hunt some creepiness. Oh, it won't be hard to find. No. All right. I suppose you got to go. I'm leaving. All right. Well, you have a great weekend, Cam. Okay.